thinking about what to make for your honey bunny? How about a honey cup cake? Brilliant! All you need is some melted white chocolate and then add in a few drops of food colouring. Mix it all up and what we're going to do is spread this out over some bubble wrap. Yes, you heard right. Bubble wrap has other uses, you know, other than therapeutic ones. We're going to spread it out and then let it chill and set in the fridge. The great thing is once this has set, you're going to get this gorgeous kind of honeycomb effect. Turn it over, gently and carefully peel off the bubble wrap and then we're going to start chopping it up into our long triangles or any shape you desire really. We're going to decorate our cupcake with these. Get your basic cupcake first and then pipe some buttercream icing on top. Stick in your honeycomb white chocolate decoration and a few fondant flowers. And why not a honeybee? Fondant icing is great for making these cute little animals and decorations. And a little drizzle of honey for a finishing touch. And there you have it. It is so cute. I think this would be absolutely delightful. I could even go so far as to say it is beautiful. Yum Yum brings to you a perfect way to surprise your loved ones with these surprise heart cupcakes on your upcoming special occasion. They might look complicated to make, but they are actually super simple. All you need is some butter, caster sugar, eggs, flour, food colouring and buttercream frosting. So let's get hearted. I mean, started. All you need is 200 grams of butter and the same in caster sugar. Whisk them together in a mixing bowl until they are nice and pale and creamy. We're going to add two eggs to that, just crack them right in and whisk away. Next we add a little squeeze of vanilla extract and 150 grams of plain flour. You can add this in thirds so it doesn't go all over the kitchen. Next, add in a little bit of pink food colouring, a little or a lot, depending on how bright you like your colours. We spoon that into our baking tray, on some baking paper and cook it for 20 minutes at 160 degrees. Once it's ready and cooled, we slice the top off and using our heart cookie cutter, we cut out some baby heart cakes. Next, we're going to make another cake mixture in exactly the same way. Well, almost. So 200 grams of butter and caster sugar, plus two eggs. Whisk it all together, plus some vanilla extract. Now 50 grams of self-raising flour and 150 grams of plain flour goes into that and we spoon them into our cupcake holders. Now we're going to add our little cake hearts in the center of each cupcake, just peeking out the top there. Bake those in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes at 170 degrees and then cover with buttercream frosting to hide your little pink heart. And then stick on some red fondant hearts for a finishing touch. Decorate as you like it. Now, when you slice down the middle, what will you see? Pull it apart, a gorgeous pink heart. Party is fun if the desserts are fun. So let's make some cool cupcake designs. All you need is tons of buttercream icing and some food colouring. We're going to make black buttercream icing. And we're going to use a white buttercream icing as well. Covering our cupcake in white buttercream icing and then using black around the middle to draw a circle. We're going to do that twice to make eyes. Making the rest of our face, we're going to cover that in blue buttercream icing. Using a food piping bag to do so. There. Now that goes on. Generously covering all the remaining cupcakes and using a flat knife or spatula to smooth it out. There you go, the base for our face. Right, we're going to just draw in the features. Now we're going to use a thin nozzle to pipe in some more black buttercream icing. Making a mouth. Put a little cookie there. And our food piping bag, which has a serrated edge nozzle with our blue buttercream icing, is going to make the fur. Drawing on a hand. And there you have it, a fairy cookie monster eating a cookie. For our second design, we're going to lay out our cupcakes like so and cover with white buttercream icing using an ice cream scoop for ease. Spreading it out with a flat knife 
and marking in where we want to colour a different colour. We're using black to mark out our features here. And it's going to be a panda. Yes, we're going to smooth those bits out. We've got the ears, the eyes and the feet. And of course, the nose, a cute little nose and a mouth sleeping eyes and there you have a cute sleeping panda for our third design we're going to be doing a brightly colored one for those of you who love a bit of color we're using yellow food coloring and red food coloring starting with the yellow we're going to just pipe that on through a medium-sized nozzle generously so covering all the cupcakes and smoothing it out with a flat knife or spatula Next, we're going to just mark out our facial features using cups and cookie cutters and whatever you need using black buttercream icing to colour those bits in. So the tips of the ears and the eyes. And we're going to do red cheeks because this bunny rabbit, because this is a very, very rosy cheeked bunny rabbit. And of course, a big, big red smile to go with that. It's one happy bunny. We're going to just smooth out that additional buttercream icing. Finishing off our bunny with some pupils for the eyes. Wow, yummy bunny. Yum Yum brings you creative cupcake decoration ideas. Perfect animal cupcakes for Easter. All you need is some fondant icing to start with. And we're just going to roll that into a kind of teardrop pebble shape, leaving it a little bit thick, adding a small pink piece in the middle, slightly towards one side. Now we're using a cutter to make little indents and doing the same with another, we've got two paws. Now, we get the large white piece of fondant icing and roll it into a dome shape. Putting that aside, get the smaller piece, roll it into a nice ball and coat it in sugar granules. Now, ready to piece it all together. With a brush, paint a little bit of water on either side of our dome and stick on our rabbit paws. And now, the fluffy tail. Right, time to get our cupcake. We're going to use a serrated edge nozzle to put some green buttercream icing on to look like grass. Sticking on our bunny and a few fondant flowers. Right, for our next cupcake decoration, we're going to have three coloured fondant icing. We got purple, we got yellow, and we've got pink. We're rolling them into egg shapes. Now get our cupcake, squirt some plain buttercream icing on with a few dark chocolate flakes and stick on our fondant eggs. Brilliant! For our third and final design, we're going to get some yellow fondant icing with a little bit of orange. For the yellow one, we're going to make the body and the orange one we're going to very carefully mould into a beak using a cutter to fold it in half. There you have a perfect looking beak and using a cocktail stick to just dot on two tiny dots of black food colouring for eyes. Now get your cupcake and squirt some white buttercream icing on and then some brown to make a nest. Stick your chicks inside and there you have it. Beautiful, three wonderful Easter cupcake designs. Yummy! Yum Yum brings to you bright and colourful pull apart cupcake decoration ideas with just four ingredients. Are you ready? Let's get started. All you need is some buttercream and some food colouring in a mixing bowl, nice and generous with the food colouring, mixing it, mixing it up to form black, brown, bright green and pale green. Now we're going to lay out our cupcakes into the desired shape. Putting on our brown buttercream icing around the edge of our cake, slightly thicker on one side than on the other, and, and smoothing it out with a spatula. Now bright green goes around the inside of our brown buttercream icing, and again smoothing it out, making a very nice border there. And in the middle goes our pale green buttercream icing. We're going to completely cover all the cupcakes that are still exposed. Did you guess what it is yet? That's right, it's an avocado. Smoothing it over, ready to start decorating with our fondant. We're going to put eyes on and a nose and some cheeks and a mouth. And of course, don't forget the stone in the middle. For our next recipe, we're using red food colouring. Now mix that into your white buttercream and you get orange. We're doing dark orange and a light orange here. 
Now lay out your cupcakes like so. Hmm, I wonder what this one is. So we're going to start by forming a circle with our light orange buttercream icing in the middle of the upper area of our cupcakes and spreading it out. And around the edge, we've left one cupcake width for the border there. We're going to use our bright orange buttercream icing. Just squeeze it on there. It's making a petal-like pattern around the edge of our circle. Smoothing it out with a spatula. The pale orange goes on again to cover the bottom part, using a wide nozzle to get plenty out. Leaving one cupcake on the end for our tail. And that's going to be bright orange. Beautiful, look at that. Now, to make our picture look bold, we're going to use black buttercream icing with a thin nozzle to just border and frame each part of our lion. This really makes it stand out. Now we can put the fondant on for the face. Rah! For our third and final cake decoration idea, we want some red buttercream icing and some bright green and some pale green. Lay out our cupcakes in a triangle. We're going to add the bright green buttercream first along one edge of our triangle. Three rows smoothed over to make quite a thick border there. On the inside of that goes a thinner layer of pale buttercream icing. Again, smoothing it over and the red goes on, covering the entirety except for one little section on the right hand side which we're going to use a darker red for. We like using a variety of shades of the same colour. Now, time to decorate. We're going to put our face on using fondant. And don't forget the seeds, of course. And there you have a watermelon. How refreshing. Super sweet. Super fantastic. So, I hope you like fondant icing because these recipes use a lot of it. You can have fun with your designs, do your favourite animals or even your favourite characters. They're fantastic for kids' birthday parties or even for grown-ups. So, why not try it? Maybe an avocado, maybe a lion or maybe a watermelon. Who knows? The choice is yours. They are delicious. Do you want a big good looking cake for your party but don't have the time to bake one? Well, why not try this? All you need is some buttercream icing in a mixing bowl with some food colouring. We're using pink, turquoise, purple, yellow, orange and green. Right, now we've done those we're going to get our cupcakes and lay them out to form our shape. Spoon in on the bright orange buttercream icing first, leaving out the top five cupcakes, just smoothing that over to form our main body. And on the upper part, we're scooping on our green buttercream icing. Did you guess what it is yet? Time to decorate. We're gonna snip off the end of a food piping bag so as to form quite a wide nozzle. We want a generous helping of the next colour buttercream icing. Pale orange going on top of our bright orange in a leaf-like effect, just one at a time. Then we're going to use some dark green buttercream icing to cover the top part, creating a leaf effect. You see, it's all in the texture. And there you have it. Fantastic. A pineapple. Go on, grab a fruity bite. Yum. Next, we're going to make, did you guess? A butterfly, scooping on some white buttercream icing to form our base colour for this one. Patting it down and smoothing it over. Right, once that's done, we're going to make a border using a thin nozzle, black buttercream icing in a food piping bag. We've just marked out some sections there so we know where to put which colour, starting with purple. Then on goes our turquoise. And finally, pink. Using a lovely bright yellow colour and purple in between to decorate around the edges. That black border really makes those vibrant colours stand out. Don't forget the antennae. 
And of course, our spots. Fondant icing for that? Fantastic. Delicious. Told you it was easy. Yum Yum's cactus pull-apart cupcakes will surely be a showstopper for your party. Yeehaw! All you need is some buttercream and some food colouring. Green, of course, because we're making a cactus. Oh dear, don't know what happened to my accent then. Right, back to English. We're going to add that to a food piping bag with a serrated nozzle. And in four separate bowls, let's make four different coloured buttercreams. These are going to make our beautiful flowers. We're going to use different shaped nozzles to create different effects. So we swirl it around and then we just layer upon layer we add petals overlapping to form a rose-like effect. Then we're just going to put in our delicate centre and repeat with our different colours. Beautiful. Now we're going to lay out our cupcakes in a cactus shape and put on our buttercream icing. Nice bright green colour, of course. Covering the entire top of the cupcakes with two layers. Gives us more to work with when we smooth it all on out later. This is so therapeutic. So time to smooth it out using a spatula or a flat edge knife. And guess what? We're going to add more! Yes, this is a piping bag delicacy. A buttercream icing delight. You can never have too much buttercream. This time we're going to leave our serrated effect because it looks kind of cactusy. We're going to start piping on our little baby flowers with another serrated edge nozzle. And of course, our beautiful flowers that we made earlier, carefully placing them artistically and without destroying their delicate shape. And there you have it, a cactus, too beautiful to eat. Who would imagine? Well, maybe just a bite. Careful, don't hurt yourself. It's sharp, it's prickly, ouch. out your cupcakes in the desired shape. First of all we're doing a panda, covering it with buttercream icing, using an ice cream scoop to dollop it on, spreading it out nicely with a flat knife or spatula, adding black fondant icing for the ears, the eyes, the arms and the legs. Next we're going to make a puppy, laying out our cupcakes, dolloping on our buttercream icing and again spreading it out smoothly. Now we're going to spoon a bit of extra buttercream icing there in the middle, smoothing it out. Next we're going to make some indents to create the segments. So using a food piping bag with a serrated nozzle, we're going to pipe on our pale buttercream icing in the middle segment and then either side of that we put in brown buttercream icing and dark brown buttercream icing on the outside edges. This is our dog fur and black fondant icing for the eyes and the nose. Last but not least, we're going to map out our unicorn. Covering it in pale pink buttercream icing this time. Again, marking out our sections, adding purple buttercream icing and turquoise and pink to make our rainbow mane. A little bit of black buttercream icing with a very slim nozzle to make our eyes and mouth, a closed eye and an ear and a horn and a few little flowers beautiful. Super easy and fun to make. This is fantastic for the kids. Why not try it? I bet they'll love it. Perfect for kids parties. This is a super fun way to make your cupcakes turn into a big cake. Choose your design. 
All you need is some buttercream and some food colouring. So we're going to mix in a bright green colour first. And next, we're going to do an orange buttercream. The more generous you are with your food colouring, the brighter the colour that will be in the end. Now, let's do a black one. We're going to need plenty of this to turn the white buttercream into a dark, deep black colour. Now, get your cupcakes pre-baked or bought from the store and form your shape. You can cut them to size. We've cut a few in half here and squirt your buttercream over them. Hmm, can you guess what it is yet? So we're using a flat knife or a spatula to just spread that out, make it nice and even. Variation in colour for the different parts. Again, smoothing those over. You just need a little bit of patience for this and a steady hand using the black to do our borders. And add some hands and feet, some fondant icing for the eyes and mouth. Oh, look, you have a baby dinosaur. Fancy one? Oh, all too soon it's gone. Now, for our second design, we're going to use silver buttercream and a plain white buttercream. Snip off the end of a couple of food piping bags, add a white and a silver one in those. Right, cupcake time. We've made a new shape, started adding our buttercream. And we're gonna spread this out, adding the silver on top. Mmm, I wonder what this one's going to be. Yep, that's right, you guessed it. It is a kind of fish. Can you guess which one? Gonna draw out our fins. Using the black again to do the borders. It makes it nice, clean and clear so you can really see what it is from a distance. Fondant icing for the teeth and the eye. A few of those in too. Look at that, a shark. Time to eat it before it eats you. Last but not least, we're going to add some pink food colouring to our buttercream. And of course our black food colouring. Lots of that to make it really dark black. We're going to add that to a food piping bag. Using a nice thin nozzle at the end there. Now we're going to get our cupcakes and form a star shape. Now you can use an ice cream scoop for this one. Makes it a bit easier. And then just spread it out with a spatula, smoothing over all the gaps. Using our piping bag to pipe the edges around. And some fondant eyes and mouth. Why not add? some pearl sprinkles for a beautiful sparkle. There you have it, a star. Fit for a princess, fit for a queen.